most of the people that are successful usually have some vision of where they're going, right? Um, what do you see is kind of the next thing for you? Like, what what is, you know, what is what does Joe Derillis of a year from now want for Joe Derillis of today? Uh a year from now, I what I see and what I want is is really uh, duplicating myself, maybe three three to five, maybe ten times over. Um, it's really kind of as much hands on as I've been, and I've been intentionally hands on a lot of part, you know, coming into this side of the business, simply to 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 learn really learn the ins and outs of, of things to see if, if there's anything that needs to be changed overall or anything that I need to change, you know, for me and my business personally. Um, and then uh, eventually I want to just kind of step back more and, and again, kind of duplicating myself to either um, hire out some of those things or just, just kind of delegate different things to different, different people in different places. Have you, you know, from that, I think that would be the biggest thing. Yeah, have you have you kind of uh, identified some of the roles that you feel like if you had um, would allow you to scale in the way that you want to? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, one of the biggest roles is is uh, uh, I, right now I just wish I had someone that would just once I get the application that then they would go through the process of uh, uh, getting getting that application to an approval. And also do a a very thorough initial pre underwriting of, of each each application each file that comes in. Okay, so so that I mean I, I'd imagine that's huge, right? Because you're right, you know. And I talk about this when I do a lot of like consulting or coaching. Is um, you could have the best front end, you know, and let's say you get 20, 30 apps. It's actually it becomes punitive the more successful you are on a certain part if you have that bottleneck on the back end, right? But, but on the other end of that, it, it's very expensive. If you have a great back end, but you're not putting anything into it, it's like, what are we doing, right? You got the best resources that are unleveraged. And so um, I'm actually really excited to see you step into that and, and bring those people on. I think that that'll be huge because I'd imagine, you know, you're, you're and I'm not here, I'm not saying you're bad at the back end, but what I've identified, uh, uh, about you through our program is you're great on the front end. You're great at the getting interest, uh, 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 connecting with somebody, building rapport, fundamentally required skill sets to have a certain level of success in these industries because you can have all the product knowledge in the world. You could be the most masterful. You could know everything about an application, but if you got nobody to talk to, then it's all fun and it's just, it's like getting degrees that you never plan on using, you know? And so, um, you've obviously have a lot of practical experience that has helped you um, have success. And, um, you know, I mean, they, they, honestly, from what it sounds like is, uh, from what you're telling me is, you don't really have like some sort of magic bullet. You don't, ha it's like you wake up and you, you're consistently doing certain actions. You're making a certain amount of outreach attempts to have these relationships. And the future of your life, as far as expansion in that, would be to, shed the things in which, um, like I said, I don't want to say you're bad at, but probably isn't things you're passionate about. Right. right. Um, so that you can really hone in and focus on that front end. Um, if you had that, so let's say I'm, I'm assuming that, uh, essentially this would be some version of a really great processor, right? Some, some version of that, right? If you had that, what do you feel that would do for your capacity? Oh, I mean, it would definitely add to the capacity and it will also speed things up because even, you know, that's one thing I, I notice in this, you know, in this side of the business also is, is speed is, is valuable. Uh, sure. It's very valuable. Like you will, uh, I mean, even, you know, being a broker, I have, you know, access to different lenders and I sometimes have to make the, that decision. Okay. Do I want to go with the lender that's going to get the, the speed or go with the lender that's going to give me the best pricing and in this case okay which which one matters the most to me and which one matters the most to the client so uh i think the speed will that would be definitely definitely be i don't know the main, main benefit i'd actually be curious about this joe i haven't had the the opportunity to really have this conversation well I've, I guess I've had the opportunity, but it hasn't come up in conversation before. 
Um, you know, I'm, I'm quite privy to UWM. I think they're doing a lot of amazing programs and, and, and things for brokers. Uh, I have a lot of respect for Matt as, a, as an entrepreneur. Um, they are obviously known for speed. They, they, flaunt, they flaunt that, and they should, right? It's a great, it's a great selling point. Um, and I've even heard they're not the, the, they're, there are a wide variety of situations in which they do not have the best pricing. I've also heard that there are certain situations in which they are there's no competition for the pricing, right? So it depends on the situation of the buyer. But but I'm actually curious, in your experience, how much deviance from a wholesale lender to wholesale lender is there in speed? Uh, man, uh, I mean, the difference, it varies. It varies, it varies. But there there is there is the difference in speed. And there's also, there's also a level of... Uh, I guess of friction or 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 not within a transaction that you that can 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 influence the, the overall experience. Yeah, and and that's also another 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 part of it all too that you as the as the broker or the loan officer, uh, depending on, on the type of experience you want to deliver to the client, where both that and the speed, okay, will kind of help you determine, okay, which lender is yeah. going to be best, you know, best for this, this particular transaction. But I would say on, on the speed itself, um, sometimes it's, it's a matter of just of, of hours and, or, or days. I think so have you noticed like a, di a difference in like a, a, like levels of urgency from lender to lender? Oh yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. The level of urgency, the level of communication, um, the type of communication, I can tell you this. You know, UWM, you 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 won't go a day without one of their account executives calling you or texting you about yeah. whatever is, whatever is going on. And then you have all the lenders. It's emails, strictly emails, and certain times of the day. Um, but that again, that you know, depending on depending on the, the particular transaction, you know, you you kind of gauge. Which uh, which is more important to you? Yeah, but but definitely. Yeah. Have you been to UWM? I have, I have. Bro, oh, that place is just uh, uh, last last summer. That place is wild. I I uh, I was blown away by the scope. Um, I mean that it's legit a campus, and right, you know they got that. Like, what is it? The world's the the world's longest. So they have some title where the world's bridge. longest like land bridge or whatever it's called. Yeah. Um. The, the, uh, you know, I, I was actually telling McBilly this after I saw it. I was like, dude, I, it literally felt like I was at Google or Facebook if they decided to start doing mortgages instead, <laughs> you know, just the scale. I mean, it's so blatantly obvious that they're trying to poke holes in everything that can stop you from being successful and effective, um, and it, it was just so beautifully orchestrated. It, it was, I don't know, it was, it was, it was a really cool business thing. If, if you're a broker, uh, I would strongly, if you haven't visited UWM watching this, I would strongly recommend you do because, um, and if you're thinking about being a broker, they might have some classes for that as well on, on, on motivating that. But um, I find that to be incredibly inspiring to see how much companies like UWM are pouring into uh, people, you know, uh, 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 brokers to be able to empower uh, the borrowers, um, which which was pretty cool.